Okay, in this video I'm going to sh show you how to uh, estimate the amount of sand, cement, and water needed to lay some block. Okay, so I'm going to go with a standard size block, um, 8 by 8 by 16. Actual size of the block is 7 and 5 eighths by 7 and 5 eighths by 15 and 5 eighths. So they, <coughs> they give you a 3 eighths of an inch joint for your block. So this 3 eighths of an inch will be the thickness of your joint. So you lay your bed joint and your head joint are going to be 3 eighths of an inch thick. Okay. Um, I'm going to estimate the entire area of the brick, um, even though it's got these holes in it. The holes are five inches by five and a half inches by eight inches deep. Um, we'll talk about that here in a minute. But I'm just going to cover the whole surface and um, to the end um, because there is a lot of waste involved with um, laying brick and block. So that will allow me for my waste, any squeeze out or whatever, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the volume of this, these two joints, okay? So to find the volume of the two joints, we're gonna take the thickness of the joint times the width of the joint, which the block is eight inches wide, and then we're gonna take it by the length. So we're going to go this length, that's 16 inches, right there, and then up 8 inches. So that, if we add those two together, we get 24 inches, okay? My calculator, my calculator. Okay, so if I multiply those together, I get 3 divided by 8 equals times 8 times 24 equals, okay, I get 72 cubic inches, okay, because these are inches, inches, inches. So for one block, I need 72 cubic inches of mortar, uh, which is mostly made up of the sand. So pretty much what we're figuring here is the amount of sand that we're going to use. So 72 cubic inches of sand. Um, so let's say we're going to do um, 500 block wall. We've estimated that we're going to put in 500 block. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 500 blocks times the 72 cubic inches per block. So times 500, and that gives us 36 thousand cubic inches okay so we want to either convert this into f cubic feet or cubic yards um, depending on what you want to buy your sand in so a cubic yard would be 36 by 36 by 36 if we're doing a cubic foot then it would be 12 by 12 by 12, okay? So 36 times 36 times 36, this would be 46,656 cubic inches and 12 times 12 times 12 would be 1,728 cubic inches, okay? So if I wanted to change this cubic inches into cubic yards, I would divide by this number. If I wanted to change it into cubic feet, I would go with this one. So let's change it into cubic feet. So we have 36,000 cubic inches divided by 1728 cubic inches at a cubic foot and that gives me 20.83 cubic feet of sand okay 
So we need 20.83 cubic feet of sand. Um, so if you go to the, you're doing a project and you buy it by the the scoop, or you go to a hard uh, big box store and you buy it in bags, um, you're going to need 20.8 cubic feet. Um, if you did it into cubic yards, 36,000 divided by 46,656, it would be point eight cubic yards of sand, okay? So we can order to get it in cubic feet of sand or we can get it in cubic yards of sand, all right? Now, once you've figured out your sand, it's pretty easy to figure out your other two. Um, because when you put the mortar, you're generally gonna do it in a ratio. So if you're doing a load bearing wall, you're going to go with the ratio of one to three. So if you have three scoops of sand, three cubic feet of sand, you're going to use one cubic foot of mortar, or uh, not mortar, cement, excuse me, cement. If you're going to use three scoops of sand, you're going to one scoop of cement, okay? So however you're going to put it in your mixer or your tub to mix it, you go in, in the one to three ratio. Um, for a facade, you could go as high as one to six in the ratio, okay? So all you have to do then is take this number and divide by either three, four, five, six, whatever you're gonna use. Let's say you're, this is gonna be a load-bearing wall, so we're gonna divide by three. So 20.83 divided by three would gives us, that would give us seven cubic feet of cement, okay? Now, as far as the water goes, um, people like to work their mud at a different consistency, so you would add water, then add cement, and add sand, and then add some more water to get a consistency that you want, and whatever that consistency is, um, then you just record or keep in mind how much water you added um, to your mix and use that the same amount every time, okay? If you're using one scoop of cement and three scoops of sand and, you know, half gallon of water. I'm just making it up, but so you could go with that ratio. So it would be a half gallon of water, one, one scoop of cement, three scoops of sand to... to uh, get this amount okay so this would be for just the bed joints and the head joints okay now what if you wanted to reinforce your wall so every third or fourth hole you're going to put a you're going to fill it full of mortar and then you're going to stick a piece of rebar in there okay so you, you now you have to figure out how much mortar is going to take to fill in each one of those holes all right, so um, then we're gonna use this right here because our hole is five by five and a half by eight. So five times five and a half, or we could say 5.5 times eight. So five times 5.5 times eight uh, gives us 220 cubic inches okay again we're figuring sand because sand makes up the, the most volume of your of your mortar um, so then we could divide if we divide by 1728 divided by 1728 gives us 0 0.13 cubic feet per block okay so if you're doing a block wall that's 15 blocks tall so just take that times 15 so 5 times 3 is 15 get 6 0 3 1 1 95 
cubic feet. So you would need 1.9 cubic feet of sand for every time you're going to reinforce one of these blocks from the ground all the way up to the top. Okay, so if you did it every fourth block, you would multiply it by how many times in your length of your wall, how many times that's going to occur. Okay, so um, then you take a piece of rebar and stick it down in there. Okay, so 1.9 per row and then figure out how many rows. Okay, now, how, what is sand or what is mortar? Okay, it's made up of the two ingredients, sand and cement. Sand is a, a clean, it's going to be just granules of sand. There's no dirt or anything because it's washed. All right, and then what the cement does when it mixes with the water, it bonds to each one of these pieces of sand and then it fills in all the voids. So once you've added your sand, instead of having a bunch of little rocks, you have a solid piece there okay so the when we said the one to three so there's more mortar so the mortar is what binds the sand together the sand is most of your volume but the the cement is what mixed with the water the hydration process is what bonds the two all the sand particles together to get your volume okay so that's what the mortar is it's just the sand particles that are um, welded together with the with the mortar to make a solid mass okay so that's what you're doing when you lay your bed joints and your head joints or filling in your voids to um, lay your block now if you you always want to add extra so figure when you figure out what your total is going to be maybe you're going to add 10 or 15 or 20 percent to this number so you can make sure you have enough mortar and sand on the job to be able to finish it and not have to go, oh, we're short and have to go get some, okay? So always make sure that you have enough. Um, so when you finish the job, you may have some left over, you can take it back, okay? Estimating mortar.